live from Dragon Digital Studios, it's the WLAB Intermediate News Report. Hi, I'm Alex Woodward. And I'm Garrett Bernstein. Welcome to the Intermediate News Report. Our lead story is birthdays. Next Tuesday is Aaron's birthday. Next Wednesday, there will be a parent discussion series. It will be at 8.45 a.m. in the boardroom. The topic will be peer relationships. There will be a new club after winter break. The club will meet at 8 a.m. in Mrs. Clement's room. Um, the club will be about the environment. Now we will go to Dylan to talk about our Ender's Game project. Our class has read the book Ender's Game by Olson Scott Card. We have done two special projects. We went to the movies with Miss Matani's class. We learned about special types of triangles and created scenes from Ender's Game using only triangles. We also wrote stories about how the world should change. Hey Emily, can you give us a quick summary? Well, Ender's Game is about a boy who has to go up and fight in battle school to defeat the buggers to save his world. Did you expect the book to be better than the movie? Well, yeah, because mostly books are better than the movie, but I thought the movie was still pretty good. How do you picture the buggers to be like? Well, I thought they'd be kind of like... I thought they'd be smaller than they actually were, but kind of like giant bugs which they kind of were, but they were really big, and I didn't really think they would be that big. Have you ever felt like the buggers were going to take over your brain? Emily, the answer is no. No, the buggers have not taken over my brain. Why would you ask such a question as that? We now have Claire with a story about the service project for the McKenna Center. Before Thanksgiving break, Ms. Hebo's class participated in a survey project, making lunches for homeless people in McKenna Center in Washington, D.C. The McKenna Center helped people in D.C. get food, shelter, and even jobs. Ms. Hebo's class made enough lunches to feed six, over 60 people. Quinn, why did we choose the McKenna Center for our service project? Because my mom's worked with them before. What was your favorite part about making the lunches? My favorite part was working as a team. Can you show us your sandwich making skills? So here's what most people don't do. You put the turkey on top of the bread, then you put the cheese on the turkey. Mind blown. Let's go to Olivia who is going to interview Will about his vacation. We are interviewing Will, a student in Ms. Kiva's class. Will went on a trip to Florence, Italy during Thanksgiving. Will, why did you go to Italy? I went to Italy for my sister who's going abroad. And we went to Florence, Venice, Rome, and Siena. And a little bit of Paris. But mm -hmm. that was only for the flight. Will, how did you have Thanksgiving in Italy? Um, my sisters and their friend got store-bought goods, and they made it in our apartment. What interesting thing did you see in Italy? Uh, I saw the 14-foot David, I saw Duomo, and I saw the bathhouse, and the Pitti Palace. Yeah, that's all in Florence. Italian designers are known for their footwear. Did you see anyone wearing great shoes? Yeah, why, yes, I actually did, and I shot a video of it. <clears throat> Penguin wearing a funky shoe that's a newscast for today. And that was the way it was. You stay classy, Lab School of Washington.